fellow Kenyans in a bid to confront and deal with insecurity, we commenced 2015 with the passage of security laws that were absolutely necessary in supporting our security apparatuses to combat crime and terrorism. As we look back, we are proud and confident of the actions we took. Because today, even our critics would agree that we are generally enjoying better security in our country. The improvement in security that we have witnessed today has not only restored the confidence of Kenyans, but also boosted their ability to go about their businesses unhindered. In 2016, we will endeavor to make Kenya even more safer for all Kenyans as well as our visitors. My administration will continue to reach out to all communities to strengthen national cohesion and unity. Turning to matters of the national economy, in 2015, we continue to manage our economic affairs prudently to sustain development and provide resilience against myriad shocks in a volatile global environment. Given everything going on around the world, it could truly have been worse, but it wasn't the case. Fellow Kenyans, as a government, we know the value of good governance and integrity, and for this reason, we have prioritized promotion of integrity and the fight against corruption as a key pillar of our social economic development agenda. That is why in 2015, we, and in a big way, enhanced our efforts to restore sanity in public life and give integrity a chance. Our multi-agency strategy against corruption has begun to bear fruits. In 2015, we drew first blood in the duel with corruption. And in 2016, we intend to increase these efforts. We wooed many investors and attracted millions of dollars in foreign direct investment. We increased our exports. We helped bring peace an understanding in troubled lands, and we continue to work with our brothers and sisters to ensure that those nations that still seek peace and stability are able to achieve it. We raised our stature in the community of nations and earned the respect that Kenya deserves. This is why we have the honor to host world leaders and will be able to do so more in days to come. Our dim diplomacy and international leadership has without doubt come of age. And this is beneficial for all of us. Fellow Kenyans, a number of achievements we have made are gradual and incremental, calling for patience, persistence, investment, as well as courage on all our parts over a long period of time. What we achieved in 2015, we achieved together. We encountered possibility together and confronted together our challenges as one people. In 2016, we will launch the program to build 8,000 kilometers of new tarmac roads the projects will cover every county in our country. Every county in our country. The first batch, totaling 1,700 kilometers, will be launched this January. A second batch of 1,800 kilometers will be launched in March of next year. I appeal to our governors, for the sake of our people, to fully support this program. As we prepare to review our education curriculum,
to make it more modern and relevant to the changing developmental needs of the 21st century, we remain focused and determined to deliver digital learning devices to our schools this year. We will do a lot more that I do not wish to set out at this moment. As we usher in the year 2016, I wish to appeal to every Kenyan, starting with our leaders, to help restore our national pride. For far too long, we have dealt in negative talk, criticism, and hatred. Besides undermining our dignity as a nation, this negativity has also diminished our patriotism and our expected love of our motherland. In 2016, fellow Kenyans, we must rekindle the love for our dear nation. We must demonstrate through actions that we are truly Kenyans by standing tall in the community of nations. In 2015, Kenya was at the center of the global spotlight as we hosted the US President Barack Obama and the Global Entrepreneurship Summit here in Nairobi. Later on, Kenya played host to Pope Francis and we closed the year by hosting the WTO Ministerial Conference. Besides these three major events, Kenya earlier in the year won the World Athletic Championships in Beijing and also sent doctors and paramedic staff to West Africa to combat the deadly Ebola virus. In this and many more ways, in 2015, we as a country were able to shine. We must therefore enter 2016 in a spirit of standing up for Kenya and saying no to negativity, no to parochialism, and engaging in unnecessary small talk. In this instant, I personally, and on behalf of all Kenyans, would like to hail the act of bravery demonstrated by patriotic Kenyans during the recent attack on a bus in Mandera. Through sheer bravery and courage, they were able to save the lives of fellow Kenyans. They truly stood up for Kenya. I salute and congratulate them for their quick and heroic actions. As we start 2016, let us remember to always be a nation dedicated to the service of humankind and to the glory of our almighty creator. I pray for every one of you. I pray for your families and for our nation that as we shed the old year and embrace the new one, may God see us through a year of great achievement and prosperity. Let us stay true to who we are. Let us love our country and one another. Let us work together to achieve more for our nation and our people in 2016 and beyond. I wish you all a happy and prosperous new year. May God continue blessing all of us and our great nation. Thank you.